What is up guys? We're back with another video. Now, listen, we're going to be bouncing back and forth between, uh, you know, vehicles. We got the BMW Junker over here. And I got this F-150 out here in the driveway. Now, we're going to do a quick walk around on it. So it's a 96 F-150. Single cab, short bed. It's got a little cap on it. And it's got some interesting low rider fender flares or skirts i don't know what you want to call those but uh basically what we're doing here is uh just had to tear up the interior it was pretty filthy and the dash was all jacked up so um took it out and i'm gonna be fixing that up today then um i had the headliner redone you know threw some suede up there it actually came out super nice and uh, let me go show you what we got going on with Dash real quick. There's that. So, well, here we have the Dash. And uh, as you can see, I already fixed some of the cracks. Basically, uh, filled them with some Bondo, sanded it down, and uh, it's ready to get refinished. So, these are all smooth now. There was a giant crack going from all the way over here down all the way to the top so that's fixed then there was another piece uh, i think it's this guy basically the same thing so this one should be part of the dash like somewhere up there like that right but long story short there was a bunch of cracks in it from the sun and all that um took it out fill the cracks and they're all ready to get finished off what i'm going to be using is a flocking kit so basically uh you lay this glue down and then you sprinkle some some stuff on it and it'll look like a suede finish if you would so let me show you what i got and then uh, i'll get this thing set up all cleaned and i'll show you how that works all right fellas now I got the dash set up. We're gonna apply some glue here in a minute. And uh, I'll probably do it you know, one at a time, I guess. But basically what I got going on here, you don't have to mask off anything or whatever. So I'm gonna apply some glue all the way up to that line here. You'll be able to kind of tell where the glue stops right along that line. And then all the way down to here probably, somewhere along here. But basically, if there isn't any glue, that stuff is not going to stick to it, so we don't have to worry about masking it off. Basically, all this top section is going to be suede. And this is what we got. Uh, this is your flocking powder, your suede, basically. Come on, get down there. Um, the kit will come with the powder, your uh, application cardboard stick basically you put that powder in here and then you open it up and it works as a pump basically so you do this number in and out and the powder will come out of it through the bottom and you have some glue which we're actually gonna need so that'll be the glue and then a small brush for it. So I'm probably gonna set this thing up and uh, probably do like a little time lapse so you guys can see the, the before and after. And let's get to it.
All right, now, here we have the end result on the dash, and obviously I will show you once we have it installed. It's going to look way better, but I am not too upset on how this came out. I did put too much glue in this section, and it kind of ran a little bit. I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to redo that. There are a few spots over here where I kind of didn't put enough glue, so uh, I would still say it's not bad for a first time doing this you know obviously once we have it installed in the truck which i'm getting ready to do that right now um you know we'll show you the final uh product once it's fully assembled and i'm probably not going to record the installation of the dash because that'll be kind of a pain it's gonna be a lot of cussing so yeah i'm just gonna fast forward to when the interior is done basically Alright fellas, listen, we're going to fast forward a few days, I did finish the interior on the whole F-150, now it's not perfect, but it's more of a budget rebuild if you would, you still have some of the sun uh, marks on the, the door panels, and uh, the interior is obviously a 90's interior, it's not brand new, but um, it cleaned up very very nice, now headliner was redone, not bad for you know doing that myself i guess 40 bucks and the seat cleaned up super nice it does have a few spots where previous owner i guess was a smoker you see some of those marks but overall you know you can actually sit on that and then the dash which was the uh i guess the most complicated uh kind of cleanup of them all actually turned out pretty good look at that now um, I think I'm going to do a couple other things, maybe redo the window tint and, uh, tint the rear glass and all that. But overall, I like how it turned out and, uh, it is having a couple other issues where, uh, I think the front, um, fuel pump is acting up. So I mostly use the rear one and then, uh, it's having a little trouble starting up, you know, when it's cold. So it's probably going to be some ignition problems but that's gonna be it for this video now don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys later